My curator licenses are about to expire in a couple of days, so I thought it would be a good idea to show you how to update those because the process is not just one step, it's several ones. So if you go to the admin tab, you go under system and license management, you may want to pivot on, you get the warning here as well, you may want to pivot on their license. And the process is three parts, as I said before. First, you upload each of the licenses. I downloaded mine. So I go here. Let me select. Let me start with the all-in-one. I have an all-in-one system. If you have a distributed system, it will be slightly different. So you upload this. Of course, I want to upload that. Keep close. After you upload the license, you need to actually apply it, allocate it to a system like this. So you right click on the particular entity and say allocate to system license. And you need to know where you have your components, you know, every one of the systems. And in my case is simple because I have an all-in-one. So I do that. And notice that as soon as I do that, I get a new button here, deploy license changes. But I'm not going to e click to it because I need to do it the same with all the other licenses I have. So I'm going to upload and notice in the background that, you know, the deploy full configuration message is coming. So let's do, for example, the uh, vulnerability management. I upload the license. Confirm, close, and I can now go here on the vulnerability manager, allocate system license. Yep, everything that's not all in one system, but I have QVM running, and that's done. Let's do the risk manager one. Select the file, and you do this with every one of your components. So I'm going to do this quickly, it doesn't take long. Upload, confirm, close, and I go to risk manager here, allocate to the all-in-one system, that's my system, and we are done. Now we need to do it with Q&I as well, so let me upload that license. Uh, here it is, the Q&I key, upload, confirm, close, and then use my Q&I, allocate system license, it is this one, Q&I, confirm, I'm not using my forensic system anymore here. Once you have done that, you need to deploy the license changes. So I'm going to click here, you get a confirmation message. You click continue, and I'm going to pause, pause the video until uh, this completes. Notice a warning that if you do this, a brief disruption of data collection will occur, so make sure that you do this at the appropriate time. Then you get this uh, progress report on every one of the, this is the all-in-one, uh, one of them is Q&I, the other one is uh, Q&I and the app host. And here we have, our system has the license uh, allocated and ready to roll.